What's up everyone, Reign of Iron here. I'm back with a brand new controller and I got my hands on Elden Ring to play my first review back with a brand new controller. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this game is fantastic. If you have not uh, went out of your way and actually played this game, just at least tried it, you've done yourself a huge disservice. I think any video game fan needs to try this game at least once. It is hard. It is very difficult. In fact, I'm going to be candid with you right now. I have not actually beaten this game yet. So yes, I am technically reviewing this game with this video, but I did not beat this game. So I just wanted to be truthful with you and let you know that. I've put in about 80 to 100 hours in this game on a few different types of characters and I think I've played the game enough in my opinion to give you a good solid opinion on this game. Now I'm gonna let you know right up front, I'm a FromSoft fanboy. I love FromSoft games. I love Dark Souls. Put over a thousand hours if not more into Dark Souls 3. And I love Bloodborne. I've beaten Bloodborne and I've beaten Sekiro. I've even played the offshoot from soft games that not a lot of people know about, the mech ones. I've played those games. So I'm a, I'm a bit biased when it comes to from soft games, but I'm gonna let you know right now, this game is worth all of the hype. It is an open world, souls born game. What any from soft fan or any video game fan really wants. Now, I will admit, there are bits and parts of this game, in my opinion, that they could have done better, and some areas where I really think that they struggled on how to figure out what they wanted to do with it. That being said, I think that this game is a is one of those games that sets the tone for games moving forward. I really truly do believe that. I think that this game is a landscape breaking game. It's a game that spits in the face of live service games and things like that. And I think that's why this game deserves what score I'm going to give it. First off, let me just say this. This game has a lot of bosses. An insane amount of bosses. And it has a huge, beautiful, vast, wide open world. But parts of those can be a detriment to it as well. I love this game. I think it's a fantastic game. But the open world seems empty at times. Sure, there's wildlife running around that you can kill for crafting materials. And there's the occasional enemy camp here and there, plus caves and stuff. But the open world itself does seem kind of void of life in a way. And the bosses do sometimes tend to run together a little too much. You fight a boss, and then you fight another boss, and then you get to another boss. It's, it's like a boss gauntlet, which is fine, but sometimes it's like, okay, well, this boss has two forms, and this boss has two forms, and I have to fight this boss before I fight that boss. I don't know. I do enjoy FromSoft games. I do. And this game is the peak FromSoft game that everybody wants, in my opinion. This is peak FromSoft. I'm just curious as to how they're going to top this. Because this is pr pretty pretty good. It's, it's a good game. Like, I, I, if you haven't noticed by now, I, I love this game. But I will say it's not a perfect game. I will say that this game is not a perfect game. I've had my fair share of bugs and glitches. Hell, I had a giant decide to kill himself. <laughs> that was one of the greatest fights I ever had. Thanks, giant. But this game is not perfect, but it's it's great. Because I'll tell you why. Because it's a finished product. Because you can play it from beginning to end. Because it's what people want in a video game. That's why. You know, when Ubisoft can sit here and bitch and moan that, you know, and take shots at FromSoft, but you can bitch all you want. Why, you know, and why are they making better games than us? Because they're making better games than you. That's why. They're, they're, they're saying they're making better games than you because they're making better games than you. That's all it is. 
You know, and I'm tired of all these live service games and microtransaction filled games and games that come out broken or half cooked. And here you got Elden Ring and FromSoft basically wagging their dick around saying, hey, look what I can do. <laughs> so, I really do. I think that this game is a landscape breaking game. I think that this game will be the game that almost any other game coming after it will be judged upon. So you better put your boxing gloves on, EA. You better you better get ready for a fight, Ubisoft, Bethesda, all of you. Because FromSoft came to play. They knocked it out of the park. This game, even with all of its flaws, even with all of its problems, is still, in my opinion, worth a 10 out of 10. And I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. And I'll tell you why. Not because of all of its gameplay, and not because of the vastness and everything in this game that you can do. The weapons, you know, the customization, the bosses, just the fun that you can have with this game. Not gonna, I, I could easily give it a 10 out of 10 for any of those reasons right there. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 right now for what it means to the gaming landscape as a whole. Right now. I'm giving this game a 10 out of 10 score. Not because it's a perfect game, because it's not. But it earns a 10 out of 10 because of what it means to gaming. Because it's from soft giving people what they want. That's why, in my opinion, this game earns a 10 out of 10. Because it gives the middle finger to Corporate Commander. And I love that. That's my take on this game. Now we can get into gameplay, we can get into what I think of the story, we can get into what I think of certain weapons and bosses. Sure, let me just tell you this, I love this game. If you want to play this game, go out and play it. It's hard. It is hard. You're going to die over and over and over again. You're going to fight bosses that make you want to pull your hair out. You're going to want to toss a controller across the room. Just don't do it. Don't break. Don't break your controller. Come on. Control yourself. <laughs> but real talk, this game is a 10 out of 10. You should go buy this game. Even if you're not a FromSoft fan. This is the perfect jumping on point for anyone who wants to play a Soulsborne game. Elden Ring is the perfect embodiment of a FromSoft game. And it, the best part is it doesn't hold your hand, but it still teaches you along the way while it's kicking your ass. Which is fine, because like I said, this game is actually nice to new players at times. Which is good, because it kind of has to be at this point. And it's really devastating to veteran players, like myself. <laughs> I love that. It's a good mix of it. And this game is beautiful. The soundtrack is amazing. I love the boss sound. The, the boss soundtracks are awesome. The bosses themselves are awesome. 10 out of 10. You go from soft. Keep giving it to the corporate commander. Seriously. This is Reign of Iron saying thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this little talk and Elden Ring review. Until next time, rain out.